So I recently posted on Reddit about this RGB to component transcoder that I found on AliExpress for 20 bucks. It's definitely worth a look at. The problem is I'm not allowed to share links on there. So I kind of threw this little comparison video and unboxing together for your viewing pleasure. Oh yeah. So back in the day, I tried various different models and clones of this Calrad and Monoprice RGB to component transcoder. And I never had any luck with any of them. I don't know if they expect HV sync. Um, I, I couldn't get them to post the image or sync no matter what I tried. So for the longest, my go-to transcoder were these Audio Authority 9A60s. Uh, they worked great at the time I was using a CRT MU driver 15 kilohertz emulation PC setup and these were highly regarded and I, I spent months looking for them I found this one on the right I had to import it from Turkey from an arcade supplier a hundred bucks shipped here so that's the problem They're they're almost impossible to find nowadays and the one on the left I actually found a few months later on eBay for 30 or 40 bucks so I jumped on it just to have it as backup. Well the problem is these RCA connectors you can see that middle one's loose and I have to constantly mess with them to get the image not the flicker. So other than that this uh, rehoused 9A60 works fine. The other one has sync issues as you can see here. So I really needed an alternative. And I've been seeing cheap transcoders on AliExpress and other places over the years, but they always had that same form factor as the two that didn't work. This one I noticed was different. So uh, I decided to give it a try. Here it just comes in a no frills box, a little transcoder sticker, anti-static bag. It does not come with a five volt power adapter like anything anymore, but it does come with a USB-C cord. So when you get it, you'll have this white film on the top. You just peel it off. The build quality isn't bad. It's about what you would expect for 20 bucks. It's not a lot to it. One capacitor that I could see kind of nice that it has your RGB level pots on the top um, you have your SCART input on the side VGA input on the other side then you have your component outputs on the top now these are a little messed up because Luma and sync you would think your green cable would go into but you would be wrong so when I first went to test this I put green on Y blue on PB, red on PR, just like you would expect it to be, but I could not get an image or a sync until I figured out to put green on PB and then I got an image to post and then I figured out red needs to go on Y and blue needs to go on PR, which is kind of messed up, but at least they got the color coding right on the ports. Yes, I did check the back of my TV and made sure I had these component cables connected correctly. So just make sure you, if you don't get an image, try it out the way I have it hooked up in this video. Your USB-C connection's a little loose, and if you move this transcoder around, it kind of flickers the power on and off, but if you just set it and forget it, it's fine. So what would you need a device like this for? Well, in my situation, I have multiple pro monitors strewn around and I had a random little component Sony over here to the side that I would uh, like to be included in my daisy chaining of confusion here. Here I got Mr. going out RGB to the VGA port to an Extron RGB amplifier. From the Extron, I just have BNC to a DB15 slash VGA cord that I have conveniently plugged into this transcoder, giving it five volts of power. A 
You got the little LED lit up and we are in business. This looks pretty dang good. Now I had to take my camera focus out. Uh, I had to defocus it enough to get rid of that moray, moray, moray pad, and moray, moray. How the hell you say it? Damn it! But what I like about these RGB pots on the top is you can really control those red, blue, and green levels. So, say you have a tube, say you have a, a set that you haven't calibrated, you could really fine tune it with this device so long as it ain't really out of whack. Here you can see I can completely turn off each of those colors and fine tune them and now I'm just gonna show some different patterns and screens to kind of get an idea of the quality and uh, what you can expect to get from this little cheap $20 transcoder pretty happy with it yeah I'll give you a little glimpsey of uh, this 800 TV line broadcast Panasonic compared to component being pushed to this Sony consumer set if we have some metal slug 3 on the Neo Geo MVS core via mister and I'll just show you some footage of this then I'll plug in that Audio Authority 9A60 and give a little comparison. So now we have that recased Audio Authority 9A60 hooked back up. Uh, back in 240p test suite. Same camera settings. Um, same tripod location. Same manual focus settings. Same ISO, shutter speed, all that shit, damn it. Okay, same patterns just to give you a another little comparison it almost seems like this audio authority um you can see that flicker that's what i was talking about with the loops rcas but it, it almost seems like this audio authority is being overdriven at times like the contrast is up too high on it but other times it doesn't do that so that, that was another reason why i needed another solution yeah look at it look at the sand it's almost it's almost like the contrast is up too high or it's getting too much contrast but yeah that was another reason um, I was willing to give this cheap $20 solution a try and I, I'm happy with it it's now instead of being a $20 backup that's that's what I'm running I'll, I'll take these audio authorities and I'll recap them and reflow the solder and, and maybe replace those RCA connectors and do another comparison later on maybe but I'm happy with this thing especially for 20 bucks this was the audio authority transcoder again so here's the comparison shots from reddit first is the audio authority second is the Aliexpress And here's just some little bonus footage and still shots that look pretty damn good coming off this AliExpress transcoder. I will leave a link to where you can buy this if you want to give it a shot since Reddit auto deletes anything that has to do with AliExpress it seems. Look at those shots. Look at those shots. Damn it. That's going to wrap this one up. Don't forget to like and subscribe.